vector addition. We have to use the tail to a head rule how to read symbols. This <coughs> symbol represents a vector, an arrow, and uh, these two vertical bars represent magnitude or absolute value of that. This is the magnitude of vector. This is the magnitude of vector. This is the sum of two numbers, two magnitudes. However, this is not a magnitude. This is just a vector. That's another vector, and this is the sum of two vectors, which is also a vector. Every vector has magnitude. It's important to remember that vectors are not numbers. I want to demonstrate a simple measuring experiment. Again, if this uh, uh, vector A and this is uh, vector B, already tail to a head, if we connect, we always can imagine a tiny ant walking. So we can always treat any vector as a displacement in our mind. So in that case, it starts walking here, it ends walking there. We have to draw an arrow from start to finish. So if I ask you or anybody else, find the sum of A and B, you say, you say this, is, this, this black arrow is the sum of A and B. But every arrow has a magnitude. So the magnitude of A is equal to 8 centimeters. Oh, I don't know, sixth grade using rulers. Yeah. The magnitude of B is equal to Sixteen centimeters. So, if you write a plus b equals eight plus sixteen, that will give you twenty-four. Does it mean this black arrow is twenty-four centimeters long? Of course not. You can measure the magnitude of a plus b. Actually, is just fourteen centimeters. So what does this mean? Well, it depends on how you call it. If you say vector A plus B equals 24, you lose a point on the exam, it's wrong. But this is actually a magnitude of A, and this is a magnitude of B. That's what you're adding. And you can see that the sum of magnitudes is not equal to the magnitude of the sum. This is just an example of this general rule. You cannot treat vectors as numbers. In general, I think about the American approach to science education. Puzzles me because what we learn in like two lectures in some countries, people learn gradually from eighth grade to ninth to 10th to 11th. They would actually do this exercise a couple of more times. Hands on learning, much more efficient just staring at the screen. What are we going to do if we have more vectors to add? Nothing new. A, B. We can draw the sum of A and B. And now we can add the third, the third arrow, C. And now we can draw the sum of A, B, and C. Yeah, yellow is not really good. Anyway, that's done. We just keep adding tail to a head, tail to a head until all vectors are being used.